Walton can tip it. Bryant with the save. Oh, you got to get a shot here. Final second. Look at the time. Nine, five, eight. World record. I told you, Tom Hammond. The ball. Lewis gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yeah. Ladies and gents, ladies and gents, you know it's Mr. Cleanup Gang and I don't miss nothing at all. So, there has been a rumor going out, going around that Earl Spence Jr. send a contract to Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, I try to find the um the video or, or, or the picture or whatever it is. I, I've been trying to find it, but I couldn't find it. Somebody commented, commented in and said, yo, you should talk about... How an Earl Spence Jr. fan, of course. You should talk about how Earl Spence Jr. sent the contract to Bud. So I've been trying to find this shit. I waited for three days. I've been on Terrence Bud Crawford on Instagram time after time to see if he posted anything, right? So if you guys don't know by now that boxing is just filled with a bunch of lies and facade. Y'all see Ryan Garcia made a living off of just lying who he about to fight and lying about when he going to get in the ring. You feel me? It's no different from Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. is a fucking liar. Like, he is a liar, bro. Like, he's a liar. And the PBC, they know how to lie. They've been doing this shit for mad. Y'all forgot Errol Spence been doing He a pro at this shit, bro. He's a pro at this shit. Let me ask y'all a question. If Errol Spence Jr. sent a contract to Terrence Bo Crawford, right? Don't you think that man would have been signed that contract? Or if he sent the contract to um, um, Terrence Bo Crawford, it's a fucking low ball ass offer, right? And the attempt to not make the fight happen so he could wander off to 154. You guys got to understand what boxing is. I waited for three whole days for that contract, bro. There is no contract, bro. It's a lie. He does this to his fans because y'all retard. I don't even want to use that word. Because y'all not that smart. Chromosomes 47, right? He does this to his fans because he knows that his fans ain't that smart. His fans are going to jump to everything that he says. And he wants to look good. Because you remember, this man called out Terrence Bell Crawford, right? And there still hasn't been no contract. Y'all seen this guy posted on, on his Instagram, Big Fish, Man Down. He got a checklist. Terrence Crawford name is last. Y'all seen him posted that. So he went out his way to try to make it look like he wanted to fight. He even went as far as to make it look like he sent the contract. Now, like I said, I really don't know. I can't say that he, he did not send a contract. But if that contract isn't signed, it's for a reason, bro. It's for the same reason that he been saying for, the, for, for all this time, the 70-30 shit. They don't want, they, they want to lowball the shit out of Terrence Bell Crawford. They want to get as much money as they can. And it's so funny, like... Errol Spence Jr. fans, like, where do you find guys like you? Where, where do you find, men, like, real grown-ass men? Where do you find grown-ass men like you guys, bro? Where do you find, y'all niggas switch the whole narrative, bro, to make it look like Turnsbow Crawford is afraid to sign a contract. Like, what are you, oh, y'all niggas delusional? Y'all delusional? This man petitioned to fight Errol Spence Jr. before he even fought Trump Porter. What are you guys talking about? This man want this fight more than anything. But what, what he's not going to do is take a pay cut to somebody that he's been getting way more money than, bro. He ain't going to do that, bro. He just not going to do that. Especially somebody that's trying to flex on him that hasn't done shit in boxing, bro. I'm recently, recently got three belts, bro. This man, been, this man been boxing for how long? 10 years? Started his career at 154. Didn't do shit, then moved down. Finally got his third belt. While Terrence Bo Crawford been cleared out of weight division. Y'all niggas got to make that shit make sense. And he was getting paid more than this nigga, bro. You feel me? I'm not trying to watch no niggas money and shit. But I'm just letting it be known that. That contract shit. is just a facade. He's Errol Spence Jr. been doing this shit for mad long. Errol Spence Jr. ripped a book. Uh, a page out of Keith Thurman book, bro. He ripped the page out of Keith Thurman book. Remember when Keith Thurman, when Errol Spence Jr. was coming up and he was calling out Keith Thurman and Keith Thurman gave him the runaround and kept on ducking him? That's the same exact shit that this nigga's doing to Terrence Crawford right now, bro. If y'all ever pay attention, that's the same exact shit he's doing to Terrence Crawford right now, bro. 
You feel me? And what happened? Keith Thurman ended up didn't fight Earl Spence Jr., right? And that's the same thing that Earl Spence Jr. going to do to Terrence Bell Crawford, bro. And this shit is sad because he's just playing with his fans. He's playing with your head. Because you know that y'all not that smart. Anything that Earl Spence Jr. say, y'all jump. Oh, big fish man down. Like, bro, stop being on this nigga dick and just, just analyze the situation. I know he's your favorite fighter, but if he's your favorite fighter, then you should know that this nigga been saying that he wants to fight Terrence Ball Crawford. And he's been lying the whole fucking time, bro. Y'all can't realize that shit. Y'all can't realize that, bro, that this nigga, is, that, that this nigga has been lying. When this nigga was asked about... The Terrence Ball Crawford fight, the last time in the interview, he laughed, bro. That nigga don't take this shit serious, bro. He know what's going on. He know that he ain't gonna fight that nigga yet, bro. He know that, bro. He know that Al Heyman is still searching for, 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 for a very handsome paycheck, you feel me? And without any risk. Without any risk. He's, he's looking for that handsome paycheck without any risk, bro. Terrence Ball Crawford fight is not in the making it right now, bro. I'm letting y'all niggas know that, bro. I'm letting y'all niggas know that. Y'all niggas got to use common sense, bro. Before turn, before Earl Spence Jr. beat Yordanis Ugas, Earl Spence Jr. was talking about 70-30. Now he beat Yordanis Ugas. Charles Ball Crawford didn't gain another belt. So what the fuck y'all think is going to happen, bro? Y'all got to use y'all. Y'all really got to use common sense, bro. Y'all got to use common sense. It's a facade, bro. This nigga been doing this forever, bro. That's what the PBC do. Look at Javante Tank Davis, bro. Javante Tank Davis is a superstar. How? Who the fuck did he beat to become a superstar? Who did he beat to become a superstar, bro? It's a facade. Like, they know how to do it. They know how to promote. That's what Al Heyman is good at. They know how to promote, bro. They know how to promote. They know how to make it make something seem like what it's not. They know how to do that. They've been doing this shit for fucking years. Niggas up to this day call Danny Garcia a top welterweight. How? It's a fucking facade. He hasn't done anything, bro. He hasn't done anything. Every every fighter right now in the PBC is marketing as being marketable as a is being marketing as a top welterweight. How? If them motherfuckers lost to each other, how? So nobody, so you telling me I lose to you, and he lose to him, and then he lose to him, and then he lose to him, and then he goes and lose to him, and and all these niggas lo I'm lost, but all these niggas are top welterweights. How, bro? How? 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 Rankings don't drop. Y'all don't drop. Y'all rankings don't drop. You feel me? It's a facade. They know how to promote, bro. They know how to promote. They make. They know how to make shit look good. That's what. That's the only thing they're good at, bro. Not saying they don't have decent fighters, because they do have decent fighters. And I do think Tank is a superstar in the making. In but that nigga ain't no fucking superstar, bro. Who the fuck did he beat, bro? Rody Romero, bro. Like y'all niggas this must be out your motherfucking mind, bro. It's what the PBC do. They're very good at this, bro. So when you see Errol Spence Jr., I haven't seen it yet. I wish somebody would tag me, send the link under the comment or some shit. But when you see Errol Spence Jr. is coming out, talking about he's sending a contract, it's a fucking facade, bro. If he did sell a contract, it's a contract he's, he's well known, he's, he's fully aware that Terrence Bell Crawford would not sign, bro. That's what I'm trying to get to y'all, bro. These guys, this is what these guys do. They're, they're, they're actors. They're like, it's like a fucking, like, like soap opera. It's, it's some weird shit. Like, I don't, I don't understand it, bro. But you gotta, you guys gotta understand that I waited three days for this contract, and I have not yet to see a see a contract. And I've been on Terrence Bell Crawford Instagram, and if that contract was sent, trust me, that man would have said something about it, right? He would have said something about it. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no fight being negotiated in between these two, bro. It's just a lie, bro. It's a lie. Earl Spence Jr. know how to manipulate his dumb fans. Y'all dumb as shit. I haven't seen not one Earl Spence Jr. fans say something smart yet in my comments. All y'all say is man down. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Y'all really, y'all really just like nut sucking this nigga. Man down. Earl too big for, 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 for Terrence Bull Crawford. Earl too big for everybody. Like, what, what, what does that even mean, bro? He too big for everybody, bro. That's why he win fights. But y'all got to understand this, bro. PBC, it's all a facade, bro. It's all a facade. It's all a facade, bro. It's all a facade. You feel me? They're liars, bro. They're liars, and they know how to make shit look good. You feel me? 
But y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Make sure y'all share this video if y'all enjoyed this content. That's all I got for y'all. And I'm out.